Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Block Tower TD. Anyway, basically, we're in charge of a floating castle in the sky. We have a load of resources in our top right. Top left, you can see our health. Our ultimate aim is to never die. And we've got this start wave button in the middle where we will be attacked by enemies. And our aim is to survive as long as we can. Now, using our resources, we can build extra blocks. So if I grab this and go like that, we have an extra block with more trees on. And those with a keen eye might have noticed the wood up here. That is one of our resources. So if we build a sawmill, we can shove it next to trees. And depending on how many surrounds your sawmill depends on how much you get per round. So we'll go there for the plus five. And you'll see below the sawmill, if I spend 50 wood, I can get a mine, which gives us rock. But obviously there's no rock here. That's where we need to buy some desert biome. So we'll grab a desert, we'll shove it there. And look, there's rocks. So we'll build one mine there for plus three, another one next to it for plus three. And then that is all of our wood gone. We've only got 50 stone remaining meaning then we got 50 gold which you can't spend on anything yet so we'll start the next wave you see we got plus 100 logs plus 50 those and then i've just realized i forgot to build defenses i forgot to build defenses this video is sponsored by brick city dev sisters newest sandbox city builder mobile game where you've got to build a city to revive the abandoned and polluted earth set in 25 23 there's over 7,000 different bricks blocks available at launch meaning you can build your world exactly how you want it to be including using blueprints made by others and sharing your own. You can explore other players' cities and experience full day night cycles in a super fun but relaxing experience. Be sure to pre-register for the early access by boosting the link in my description or scanning this QR code. There'll be in-game rewards waiting for you plus the opportunity to win $1,500 gift card through a building challenge. Thanks Dev Sisters for supporting the channel but now let's get back to the video. So quickly I've just built a crossbow. Can I afford another one? It's 75 logs. No I can't. Quick. Yes. Come on, one more. Oh, that was very close. <laughs> that was so close. They're very silly of me. Yeah, thankfully, when we press start wave, we do get a load of resources, as well as some more at the end of the wave as well, because uh, you can keep building between waves like while you're being attacked, which is nice, and just save my butt like it did then. Anyway, this isn't the only map. There is another one due in June, apparently. It's now July, as I'm recording this. Uh, but maybe this one will have new biomes and stuff. Who knows? Anyway, as we go on, you'll see under here, this is our research bar. As it says there, we can build libraries to speed up research. And basically, whenever this fills up, we get to pick a new item that we can add to our blocks, resources, or towers list down the bottom. Uh, so for now, let's just, I think we probably need some more rock and possibly some more wood for defenses. So we'll shove that there. Oh, look, it's got a block of gold on. Now we need to build a furnace to mine that gold, uh, which I haven't unlocked yet. So for now, let's just spend our remaining on crossbows and then we'll start the next wave and we're being attacked by like bats and oh my goodness, is that a wasp? It's a wasp with like praying mantis hands. Oh, that's nasty. That's quite terrifying. That one's holding a sword. So is that one. Or maybe they're not holding a sword. No, <laughs> they just got shot with my arrows. Oh, that's quite gruesome, actually. Anyway, now that research bar is filled up, we get to pick between these. So we can increase our stone income by 50%. We can unlock a catapult or a bombardier. Now, this button down here, this gives you access to see, like, all the towers you can unlock and all the enemies you have to face. And I can see the catapult is one of the most powerful, although bombardier is area damage which we need to take into account but i think for now i'll take the catapult i've just got to be careful because it does consume a stone when attacking so that's down here that costs 220 which means i probably can't afford no i can't afford to expand and build one of those uh, so i'll probably just build one of these you'll notice i don't know if you can sort of see it but behind there there's like a raised can you see behind my castle there's like a raised bit of land so if we grab any tower you can see that's what a normal one does does nothing but if we shove it on the higher bit we get a plus 50 percent attack bonus so let's shove our new catapult up there i think we'll then mine some more rock so we can get four if we go there then we'll start the next wave and see what we're being attacked by it's the same things let me just check yeah it was a bat and a wasp good to know now you can speed up these attacks so they happen a bit quicker so we'll probably do that the whole time to be honest but that's another wave clear we get a load of resources so let's expand i reckon should probably head upwards oh and that is a good spot for a sawmill plus four Four. can go in there let's add another desert biome there and then another mine and we'll hope we can defend ourselves with that maybe i'll build another crossbow oh, i can afford a catapult actually let's shove a crossbow in oh wow they're getting close they're getting close and a catapult and a catapult oh okay that was close that was actually quite close still we now get to pick between these so wood income increased by 50 percent same with stone or we can replenish the resources uh, 732 of each ain't bad i think 
I'll just go with stone income because I know that's going to be quite important there. And since we have so many decent sawmill spots, I think stone's more important to have for now. So let's shove another one there. And oh, look, can you see that crystal? So this crystal basically gives us mana and mana is this up here. So you can see we are regening four mana all the time and we're not spending any because I haven't got any mana towers yet. But of course, there will be some. Anyway, let's try and take out these. Oh my goodness, what is that thing? It just got one shotted by my catapults. The catapults are very strong. Fair play. Nice. Right, so what was it? An Oculothorax. I think I added some elves accidentally. I feel like it looks like a Donald Trump Cyclops. Anyway, 500 wood to get a mine in. That's plus four. Five. I think we've got to do that. I might get a catapult onto that for plus 25 because it's high up. And then I got a little bit of little bit of stone left. So let's go left because that's where our castle is. And that's what we need to defend at all costs. Okay, so for now, let's shove crossbow on there and then we'll see how we get on. So Donald Trump's and wasps, the catapults, they are literally mullering everything. Anyway, ooh, furnace. So that's what we need to get gold. Increase our stone income by 50% more or the pylon where we can get mana. Now the thing is we don't need the furnace or the pylon yet, but I know we definitely will need them later on. Uh, so I think I might go with furnace since we do have a block of gold up there and I will as well just shove that there. So we are now making 200 gold a turn now. Next up, since defenses seem pretty good, I'm just going to try and max out like everything else. So we'll try and get more wood stuff, more stone mines, and then add a block there where hopefully... Oh, look, we got another gold. I was going to say, hopefully we've got another square next to this gold. So I can add four more furnaces when I can afford them. So for now, let's go. We got another wave to take on. They're just a load of bats. Oh, and there are quite a lot of them. Maybe I should add a few more crossbows as they're cheap. So maybe I'll sort of add one in like every corner. Right, then I'll shove a furnace next to that. Can I afford another one? I can. Okay, so we're going to be rolling in gold. We're on 2,400 gold. I haven't got anything to spend it on yet. But when we do have something, we're going to be buying it straight away for sure. Oh, and we could even... Furnaces produce 50% percent more gold. We could do that. There's also the swamp, a new biome. Uh, there's more gold deposits that spawn on those blocks. So either of those could be good. There's also an elf tower. Build near trees for increased damage. I feel like for now we're pretty good for being attacked. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the swamp. And he costs 450 stone. I feel like we need a lot more stone actually. So no point investing in gold yet. So let's build another block there and then it's 500 for the next one so i can't even afford that but i can afford a mine that we can get in there plus four so start the next wave lots of income lots of donald trump's oh my goodness there's a giant thing with one eye everyone focus fire Ah, oh, easy easy mate All right i don't want to get cocky so i might put another catapult up there but aside from that i'm just going to invest in getting more stone and more wood and we can take on another wave and the waves are definitely getting bigger there's three of those flying things now i'm glad i added that catapult but i think i might need another one so we'll shove that down there all right that's all those done we get a new upgrade stone income gold income wood income or well, this one increases the damage of all towers by seven percent yeah i think wood income because we've already done the stone income one and i do actually need wood to build more of these stone mines. I can't even afford to build one at all yet, which isn't ideal. So I think I'll then build downwards with these stone ones. So we got those two. Oh, look, we got loads of high towers now. That is decent. We'll start the round and I may add some crossbow towers, but uh, this wave doesn't look too bad, although they keep spawning. They definitely keep spawning. I think we're fine, though. Remember, there's my castle, so it's this edge where I probably should be expanding. But nice, we survived. Let's add another catapult to these towers, maybe a crossbow as well. We'll add a few more stone mines and a sawmill, and then we should be good to do the next round. And this time, we're just surrounded by a load of wasps. It's like a British summer. Lovely. Anyway, four new upgrades. Gold income by 50%. Ballistics again. The Bombardier Tower again. Ooh, or this one. Shock Tower. Lightning strikes everyone around the tower in an area, consuming mana. Okay, I reckon it's worth. Let's get the Shock Tower. What does it cost? Ooh, 400 gold. I've got 7,400 and I gain 800 a turn. The only trouble is I don't know how much mana this will consume. So probably worth shoving like somewhere near our castle, like a last resort. And I feel like this left side is like the weakest side. So let's shove it, I guess, in there. We can see, oh, we're using 4.8 mana now. We're only making four. So this bar will go down. And when it gets to zero, that tower will stop working. So don't want to build another one of them yet. I think instead I'll invest in 
expanding that way. Get another sawmill in and then start the wave. Okay, so just loads of Donald Trumps around us. You are fake news. Thankfully, they are down in seconds and we have the opportunity to expand band again so 700 a piece I was, I was sort of hoping for a more clump of like stone together oh they're good ones they are good ones so let's shove a mine in there they're both worth four i can only afford one so straight to the next wave it's a load of bats and oh what are they they're like ghouly things oh they're ghosts i mean i was close with ghoul if you're a ghost and found that offensive i can only apologize <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gaining more and more resources every single time now. So we've got to keep spending them. So that goes there. Oh, look at all the rock in that. Rock's definitely the one that seems to go down because I need it to expand. So that's what I need to sort of work on. But a mine costs 1400 now. Hence, we've got to keep the wood going as well. But yeah, we'll start the next wave. I think I might shove another shock tower, like maybe down there. So if we have a look at this shock tower, hopefully we'll see it. Yeah, look at that. It got all three. Oh, wow, it did a lot of damage because those wasps are actually quite strong. I feel like I may need one over this side where those big things are. Although catapults, fair play, catapults are like really good. But yeah, a little bit concerned how close things are getting to my castle. I think the shock tower over here should do the business. Mana's not too bad. It is going down, but we seem to be coping. Oh man, enemies just keep on coming this round. Anyway, we'll speed up and then hopefully we will survive. I think it's good. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. No, we're fine, we're fine. Never in doubt. Right. Ooh, freeze tower. So freezes enemies, reducing their movements. But it does consume mana, which we're not producing yet. So I can't really go for that. I might just increase my stone income. My gold income is already off the border. Let's shove a grass area there. Shove some sawmills in. Oh, plus five. That is a good one. Another one there for plus five. And another stone one where hopefully we can get some good numbers there. Catch anyway, next wave. Oh, we got a load of flaming heads. Oh man, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. I'm going to get another tower in. Another Shock tower over there as well. Oh, they get so close. They get so close. Quick. Oh, look at the mana. Oh, wow. Okay, we only just survived that without getting hit. Our mana went right down. I really need some more research so I can get the uh, the mana, the crystal miners. Anyway, for now, I think I need more wood, if I'm honest. So let's shove a couple of those down and we'll get a few sawmills involved. Nice. Okay, now we're being attacked by like freezy heads. We do have shock towers everywhere. We don't have one in the top right, actually. I could shove one there. Oh, yeah, that did some good damage. And that is another wave cleared. We need we need some mana soon. I think next round we will get some more cards to pick from. Yeah, so in the meantime, let's get some of these in. Yeah, plus four is pretty good there. That's more rock income. There may be a catapult on these taller towers. We've got the we've got the rock to do it. Right. Oh, green spinners. Oh, wow. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Come on, electric. Shock them. Oh, that's so close. No, no, no. Oh, we lost some health. We're down to 23 out of 25 health. Oh, but thankfully we have the pylon. Build near crystals for more mana regen. That is what we need. Now, we've got two mana crystals in there. They are completely surrounded. I can delete what I have. I can sell for 50% cost, but that's a five tria. That's a four tria. And then we got catapult on a higher bit of ground. And you can see the longer you have the towers, they actually level up themselves. And so their damage and stuff does upgrade all the time. So generally, you don't want to move towers once you've placed them. Uh, still, I need pylons. So I guess we'll shove one there. Another one there. Another one there. 1,200 for this one. Okay, we'll shove it there. They're only plus one. Better than nothing, I guess. And see, we're making plus nine. We are losing 24 though. So not ideal. Now there is another biome, like a snowy one that gives you more chance of crystals. Uh, but we need to wait till we unlock that. And there's no guarantee we will because it's all random. Uh, so I guess for now, we just go up and hope, yes, we can shove one next to that. Shove two next to that, actually. And then they cost 2,400, so I can't afford any more. Um, I should probably start dotting crossbows about. We've got, like, lots of space free that we're not using in the middle. So it probably makes the most sense to, like, crossbow them up, because they, they only cost 350 wood at the moment. So that's all those in. We're on to the next round. We've got all sorts of heads to try and defend against. Thankfully, we seem to be doing okay. The mana is very low. All the mana stopped. Oh, man. Yeah, we're sort of at the limit of of our mana towers definitely can't add anymore it may be worth trying to if i get rid of a four tree mill and then shove that in that's another plus one might be worth trying to get some gold mines down the old furnaces maybe getting some swamp lands down here oh yes three gold in the swamplands still we'll start the next wave we've got a load of a load of cyclops birds do i need more towers or are we good i think the catapults are dealing with them mostly yeah decent so what were those are oh, they were wisps 
the, the heads, the fire wisp, the ice wisp, and the wind wisp. Worth noting those ice ones, they do freeze towers. Not ideal. Yeah, all right, let's get some furnaces in down here. Get some more stone mines. And then we're starting wave 20. So wave 20, it could be a big one. Yeah, there seems to be just waves and waves of stuff. We got these big blue cyclops things. Oh man, there's two coming in this side. There's two coming in that side. They got quite close. Can I afford another catapult? I may shove that there. But decent. We get a new unlock. We got, oh, a speed tower. Increases the fire rate of nearby towers. Ooh. We then have the library, which increases research speed by 10%. That's how often I can get these cards to unlock. And also the mage tower, which is a basic magic tower that uses mana. And then the star tower, which... Powerful single target damage, has infinite attack range, consumes mana. Oh, man. I want to try the star tower because that could be really good against like bosses and stuff. And it has infinite range. How much do they cost? They only cost 300 as well. Consumes four mana when fired though. Not ideal. If I just shove a couple in the middle, then that should be really good, right? Anyway, we'll get some more gold mines down decent then we'll start the next wave so it's a load of bats oh it's a load of bats it is a load of bats oh my goodness there's so many bats um uh so many bats my castle is getting oh the lightning the lightning saved us so the mana proper dropped out but then when it did strike everyone got ruined okay well let's increase our number of furnaces and the rest on mining rock and then we go again all right catapult seems to do like the early damage when things get close like this this is when yeah all well, the electric hits and then have we really seen a star one do anything we have to keep an eye out to see how these actually work because they use up a lot of mana they are leveling up so they're definitely doing stuff look at that range nine 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 oh almost the same amount of gold that i have oh yeah look there's the stars hitting so the stars they just drop like a, well, like a falling star onto their heads. They seem to like one hit kill most things, the stars. That's quite cool. If I could make more mana, I would definitely be investing in them. Anyway, we'll speed back up again. Remember, there's our castle that we've got to protect. Things are getting close, but it's not too bad. All right, probably worth doing the mana regen on this. I wouldn't mind going library though, because if I get library, I get cards quicker, which means I'm more likely to get the, the mana regen biome, but I still have to wait. Whereas if I do that, then I'm going to increase my mana regen straight away so yeah we'll do that and then oh look we got another crystal okay 2700 gold we'll shove two of those down shove some more rock mines down and then we're good to go again oh what is that what is that it's like a stone man oh man that was scary <laughs> he spawned so close to my castle anyway there are some ghouls about sorry ghosts ghosts i didn't mean ghouls i meant ghosts it's incredibly racist it's super racist <laughs> now there's a few of these blue flying guys but i think we're fine yeah we're good wave 25 clear Ooh, we got another mana thing. Let's shove that down. Boosh. And then I might play strategically. I reckon if I shove a rock on this side. Yeah, we get a surround one. That's going to be plus four decent and down here maybe we'll get a gold in the corner no we didn't still on to the next wave and oh what are they they got like three I oh they're quite scary actually take me oh why are they purple i think they're freezing some of my towers oh that's not ideal that is not ideal they're so close i may need to invest in more towers next turn how's the mana looking it's okay actually surprisingly all right i need i need more rocks okay we're on to the next wave we got those guys back in they do freeze towers that's what the purple is so we gotta be a little bit careful i may add another Another star tower or two. Since they have infinite range, I can sort of shove them anywhere. But yeah, mana's very, very low. Come on, regen. There we go. There we go. Wave 27 clear. Cannot afford any more towers. So I guess we go on to the next wave and we hope this is wave 28, by the way. I reckon get the electric ones early on because that's when there's more likely to be like groups of enemies. So I've just shoved one down here, which is nice and early. I don't want to delete any of my old towers. Like, even though they're just crossbows, they're like level six. It's decent damage. Anyway, we've got new cards. Oh, we still haven't got the biome. Okay, we're probably wise to invest in new towers because they will be cheap to start with, I think. Uh, let's get the area one. The Bombardier. And, oh, yeah, it only costs 100. So we probably want these sort of on the edge of our bases. So let's go right around the edge. So we're Bombardiered up. Let me add another Star Tower up there with 50% attack. Oh, then I can spend my gold getting three more mana things down here. Nice. So next wave. Oh, yeah, the Bombardiers, they're like firing bombs. Oh, they're really weak. They're really weak. They do like nothing. Maybe they'll kill the Wisps easily no not really oh no they're getting close they're getting close somehow we are surviving there seems to be another wave coming we got some big boys take them down 
Yeah, the star damage. Anyway, he managed to get me a plus six on the wood chopping and some plus fours. That is going to help. I might shove an electric up there. Really shouldn't be spending more mana, but I am. All right, then we got another stone boss. Take him down, take him down, take him down. Ow, he took a lot of health out. We're down to 18 health. I think because I haven't made my base wide, he came straight at us. The trouble is the blocks cost so much now. 1,800. I've only got 900 rock left. So I can't even make this thing wider if I wanted to. Now, I guess more crossbow towers for now as that is the only thing I seem to be able to afford. And then we take on another wave. Oh, it's not ideal. It is not ideal. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> There's so many coming in. I don't even have space. Oh, the electricity. It's the mana. I just need more mana regen. All right, if we go down here, maybe... All right, I can't actually make my base any lower, interestingly. I can go up but not down. So let's hope for a crystal. Oh, it didn't happen. I got one more chance. It didn't happen. There's no crystals. Anyway, we'll start the wave. I will add a load of crossbows. Oh, no, look. It's that guy. Take him down. Take him down. He's down. All right, there's another one down the bottom of the base. There's a few more ghoulies. Oh, there's him again as well. Look at all the swords in him. <laughs> Take him down. Oh, that was so close to my base. Oh, wow. And this wave is like never ending. Are we done? Yeah. No? Okay. Nope. Nope. There's another one going back. Okay. Wave 32. There's a lot of bosses. <laughs> it's like never ending. Anyway, I got lucky with another mana crystal. I can get three of these pylons around that. And then I guess it's just shoving crossbows down. You're right. These guys are shades. They periodically deactivate towers. They are quite tough, but we... Oh, man. They actually... I was going to say we seem to be coping, but they do keep taking out a lot of my towers. Wake up, towers. Wake up, towers. And we still haven't got the snow biome. Oh, dear. Um, I might go for the shredder. Sounds interesting. Hits all enemies in the line of attack. It costs 500 wood. So let's shove these up there. So plus 25% on there. Same that way. Got some taller towers down here and down this way. All right, so we'll start the wave. Loads of wisps. We got a boss coming from the top of our base. Could call that the tip of my base. I guess. Um, didn't get too close, thankfully. There's a lot of enemies coming in. Come on, mana regen. Uh, we taken hit. No, we didn't. Oh, we just about survived. There's another boss. Take him down. Okay, there's still waves and waves of enemies coming, though. Shredders seem pretty good, to be fair. I may shove a couple in the middle, though. Maybe a little line of them down here. There's literally, like, no room left. Let's add some more room by doing that and that. Make some more rock. Then we'll take on the next one wave. Oh, wow. That's a lot of big bats. That is a lot of big bats. Oh, mana's gone. The mana's gone. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, we only took one hit there. Oh, there's so many and we don't have any mana. Ow, ow. Health down to seven. Oh, <laughs> We just about survived, but I don't really know how. We just got to get lucky and hope that mana shows up. Oh, there's a crystal. Wow, these pylons cost a lot, though. 5,400 each. So I can't even max this one out. It now costs 6,600. So that's that done. I got a load of wood and stone. I may just build catapults. Get the shredders in as well. All right, and then, oh my goodness, what are these? They've got hard hats. They're like dig bits and hard hats. They're so close to my castle. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Out. Down to six health. But yeah, Shredders were actually doing the business there. All right. And then we go again. So wave 37. We got... Oh, we did just have a boss, but now we have some other stuff. A load of bats. A load of moles. Moles in hard hats. I think that's the end of us. Yeah, it is. Minus five health. Oh, man. There's so many enemies. So you can see at the bottom of the screen the stats there. The catapult did the most damage. And then the star power. Maybe the shock wasn't actually that good. Oh, and before we go, don't forget forget to check out the sponsors of this video, Brick City, by boosting the link in my description to sign up and learn more about the pre-registration for Brick City Early Access. Anyway, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. That was a lot of fun. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!